What up Lego fans, QC Fries here, and today we're going to be building set number 75135, Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor. And right off the bat, guys, I really love this set. I've already built it once before, um, and it's it's amazing. I love the red color. It's definitely unique. I think the only time this set was ever made was back between, I want to say, 2000 and 2002, which was in the Ultimate Space Battle set. I don't know exactly what year that was released in. Um, but it came with uh, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor as well as Obi-Wan's and then like two Vulture droids. So it was a great set. Um, but this is the first time it's been remade. But yeah, this set was released in 2016 and retailed for $25, which uh, right off the bat, in my opinion, it's a perfect price for this set. Um, this set consists of 215 pieces and two minifigures, which you can see on the bottom right corner of the box. And yeah, I'm super excited to build. So now let's get into it. So guys, if you haven't already, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for some more LEGO Star Wars content. And in addition, check out the other videos I have on my channel. I have some more LEGO Star Wars time-lapse builds, some Call of Duty gameplay, and even some Vlog. So yeah, feel free to check those out and now we're gonna get into building So I just finished building bag number one as you can see here we built the main body of the Jedi Interceptor So basically just kind of like the part where the wings will connect to and then the cockpit for Obi-Wan to sit in And in addition, we built our first minifigure, which is Obi-Wan Kenobi and he looks great So yeah, now we're gonna get started with bag number two building bag number two and as you can see here we built the first wing um it looks really cool it looks like an, any jedi interceptor wing in addition we got this nice little republic logo and a spot to put r4 p17 in there and in addition we built our last minifigure of the set which is r4 p17 and now we're going to get started with the final bag which is bag number two So I just finished bag number three and as you can tell we have finished the build we added the second wing right here And now our Jedi Interceptor is complete and it looks great So now I'm gonna get into the review of the actual Starfighter and then we're gonna review All right guys So here we have Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Interceptor and it looks great all around just looks phenomenal it looks like how you would expect a jedi interceptor to look like it's great i love the dark red color and the light gray it just matches great especially with that nice little cream color right there but it looks awesome this set um does not have a lot of like play features i mean because it's kind of a small set you know um the only thing it has really are these stud shooters which if you push down or not stud shooters i always get them mixed up the spring loaded shooters if you push down on them on the back right here um, then they fire out. So here's the second one. Let me show you guys. Boom. Yeah um, So that's nice in addition. I guess the main feature of the Jedi Interceptor are the wings right here that you can fold out like this like it's in flying mode and There and it looks great. Let me hold it so you guys can see the wings better. So it looks awesome looks like um, Looks like what you would see in that epic scene above Coruscant in the beginning of Revenge of the Sith um, in addition, you do have space right here to put in R4 P17 and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the cockpit. The cockpit opens up and you can put them in there. Let me go get them. 
All right, and he fits in perfectly there and you can close it and he fits in nice. He's got a lot of space um, and it just looks great. Um, I don't know why it's not closing, it should be. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess we're getting having. I'm having a little technical difficulty, like closing the cockpit fully. I'm not sure why, but that's all right. But yeah, other than that, it looks great, as you can see. Um, I do think my one complaint with this Jedi interceptor is that the space for R4 right here is kind of awkward because, like, literally half his body is sticking out. It's not supposed to be half his body. It's only supposed to be his head that sticks out. So. I mean, I can see what they were working with here and like it would have been very awkward if this part of the wing would have just come down a lot more just to hide, make sure only his head comes out. So I see why they did that. So it looks good and kind of matches on this side. But like other than that, it just looks awkward, you know. In addition, there is no space to put Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber, which is annoying because then it's like, okay, well, I have obi-wan's lightsaber now what i'm gonna do what am i gonna do with it like if you display it you're gonna have to like keep it somewhere nearby or remember you have it because otherwise you're gonna forget because there's no there's no room for it which is annoying because you know then you can only have obi-wan in there as lightsaber doesn't go anywhere so it's just kind of like a loose item so that's annoying but other than that it looks amazing and i love the red color again and it's just a great ship and i'm gonna definitely love this um i'm gonna love putting this up on display with as with my other interceptors and um starfighter so yeah now we're gonna get into the review of the minifig all right guys so here we have our first minifigure of the set and it is r4 p17 and this guy looks great he is obi-wan uh he's obi-wan's astromech droid um he's a very nice dark red color matches great with the starfighter does have a white body no printing on the back I don't think astromix usually have printing on the back, but I mean, I always usually check. Um, got printing all around his head though, which looks great. Um, he has some kind of like dark silver on his on his like dome head kind of thing like that, and it looks great. Um, he's just a plain, you know, astromix droid, white, uh, dark red, and like you know, dark silver. But he looks cool. Uh, looks good. Um, he does not have, I would say, a lot of screen time in the movies. He is in episode two as well as in the beginning of episode three, but in um, episode three, he gets his head cut off by a buzz droid. So he's kind of short lived, which kind of, which is kind of sad, but it's a great addition to the set and it makes sense. And he fits very nicely with the Starfighter. And last but not least guys, we have our final minifigure of the set, which is the man himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I love this guy. He's got some great leg printing uh, as well as like Jedi robe printing and he just looks phenomenal. Um, he does have his normal standard kind of red hair with like the comb over kind of look. Um, this piece, uh, this headpiece is interesting though because he actually has his headpiece on there already. It's printed on um, like you see in episode three. In addition, he does have, whoops, I took him off the thing. In addition, he does have a second face print, which he still has the headset on and he's got kind of that worried look, which kind of makes sense because he's not a very good pilot. Uh, so he speaks and he knows Anakin is doing some crazy stunts. So yeah, he does come with a lightsaber, which is nice, perfect addition. But again, kind of want to complain because there's no spot to put it, put it in. Um, but he looks great. He's Obi-Wan. This is his ship. So it makes perfect sense that he's in the set. He's got some nice back printing too. And he's just a great minifigure and I love Obi-Wan. So yeah. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for today's build and review of set number 75135, Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun building this ship. I love the Interceptors and the Starfighters. I put a little stand on it. That's where um this is the stand I used to um show you guys the minifigures and i put it on there just so you could see the ship in flight mode and it looks cool um but yeah that's gonna be it hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for some more lego star wars content and in addition feel free to check out the other videos i have on my channel i have some more lego star wars time lapse builds some call of duty gameplay and even some vlogs so yeah that's gonna be it today for me guys i hope you enjoyed this is qc fries and i'll catch you in the next one peace